most of the acting books that I had read, even the books by the greatest acting teachers, had the line in it, uh, don't be an actor if you can do anything else. <laughs> they all said that. They all, that was their advice. It was like, if you, know, if you can choose any other profession, do it. Don't be an actor. And my discovery was, that's bullshit. That when I meet my colleagues in this business and realize what complete human beings they are, and that the more they have the off to offer, the more able they could do any job almost, uh, except business related, th that... <laughs> Physics. That, that we bring all of that to what we do. And uh, that was a big revelation to me, that it was okay for me to be in this, even though I might have been able to do something else had I chosen to. Great thing <laughs> about it is, it is completely structured. It is absolutely the audience's experience, and our experience doing it, is one of spontaneous combustion, and joy, and fun, and ridiculousness, and with very few exceptions. In fact, really one exception, which is a single speech that Hank Azaria has, where there is called for a, an improvised line, and he changes it every night, and we all look forward to seeing what the hell he's going to come up with, and then we <laughs> either laugh or don't. But the pressure. The process <laughs> was very similar to what you described, Raul, as the ideal process, which was a lot of sort of free form. I mean, we had a script, but the script changed a lot because it was a new piece, finding a storyline, playing around a lot. Mike not saying that, that much, mm -hmm. uh, encouraging here and there. Uh, get to Chicago, get to sort of up on its feet, suddenly he's saying more mm -hmm. and, and um, starting to cut and starting to do all that stuff. But the thing that I most remember is when we were in performances, his note, which was, uh, as he calls, killing babies, which is uh, your favorite moment, mm -hmm. uh, don't do it. Mm -hmm. He said, if you take it out, you can put it back. But as he, he also called, that little squeak and turn that you know if you do it, you get a laugh, mm -hmm. don't do it. And that's the thing that gave us the freedom to know we don't have to turn our head on this moment because that's how you got the laugh on that moment. Maybe that is how you got the laugh. Maybe if you don't do that, you won't get the laugh. Who cares? There's a million laughs in this show. That's not why we're there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so he created this atmosphere where it, the play is every single night uh, and, and often on matinees, totally alive. <laughs> <laughs>